Radio, so I had a bit of an idea. I figured, um, look, we're dealing with tiny fractions of millimetres here. Um, why do people constantly say, oh, look, I've levelled my bed, um, everything's checking out the way you guys say I should do it, um, but I'm still having issues, and everybody's saying, look, it looks like bed levelling issues, go ahead and have another retry at levelling, blah, 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 blah. So I think there's a few important factors uh, involved. The first one, uh, I go over, I went over earlier, um, and that's that's just based purely on making sure everything's heated up uh, at the right, uh, at the time that you're leveling. Because everything does heat, when it heats it expands, when it contracts, it, when, it, when it cools down it contracts, etc, etc. Um, sorry, I'm bubbling my words up there, but, but we all know these things, um, and so we obviously know it's going to react our, our, our system somewhat, um, but, but the difference is massive. I think it's probably, my guess is probably a few reasons there, um, the bed, uh, your, your, your heated bed and your nozzle are obviously different, um, different metals altogether, they're also heating up to different temperatures, so simply uh, hoping that you can level uh, once and then everything's going to heat up and change at the same rate and do exactly the same thing, you're going to end up with the same tolerances, unfortunately that's not the case. So you do need to level um, when everything's warm. Secondly, uh, I've been thinking, you know, we're dealing with hairspray, a lot of us, not everyone, but hairspray, otherwise tapes, otherwise um, uh, whatever else other guys are using, like build tax or whatever. Um, so really, what we've, what we've got to really understand there is that even if we level our bed and everything's warm, and then we are about to print, we think, oh, I might just whack a little bit more hairspray on. There's a very good chance we actually might be changing changing our levels again um, with the hairspray itself because we are just dealing with tiny, tiny micro measurements here. So what I thought I'd do, run a little bit of an experiment. I haven't done this before. I'm doing this for the very first time right now as well. What I thought we'd do is run a little bit of a measurement on this ruler because it's obviously not going to squish or change anything. I'm going right at the end here so that we've got one perfect measurement. Point six five. Look pretty much wherever we're measuring up and around here we're getting 0 0.65, 0 0.64. Right, so that's a good measurement. Let's run with that. Um, I get a little bit of change, but um, uh, you know, just 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 in my bad measuring skills. But I think that gives us a pretty good start benchmark. Any any tiny change, we can just say is bad, my bad measurement. But I think there's going to be a bit more to it than that. So let's just give our heated bed a bit of a spray there. Um, look, that probably is how much I use. Like, probably a little bit more, to be honest. That's probably that's that's more than that's too much, really. I, I guess that's probably. It's a good amount. Let's leave that for a few minutes to dry um, and we'll come back and we'll see what we can see. Still sticky, but now with additional weird pink mess. <laughs> We have gone up between 0.2, so it's going further down, 0.2, right up to 0.4 in some places. It's consistently 0.2 of a mil bigger, sorry, 0 0.02, which is a good percentage of our actual overall height that we're going for. When we're going, I mean, that's, that's 0 0.68, 0 0.69. So it's gone up. This, the amount that's gone up in, in some of these areas here, which is hard to obviously gauge, is actually um, it's actually pretty much your, your entire distance, your entire gap that you want your uh, nozzle raised to. So really, we're done. We're blown. Point proved. Thanks, guys. Thumbs up if you like that 
quick uh, little tip and uh, subscribe for future updates. Thanks again. Bye.